In this screencast, we'll talk about binary exponentiation. This is a continuation of our Horner's Rule discussion. Well, let's say we have a number, some number c, and we want to raise it to the power of n. That's the problem that we're trying to solve. And um, so we can um, write c to the n uh, as a polynomial a n times uh, c to the n plus and all the way where all the way down to um, a 0 where a n is equal to 1 and um, everything else all of the um, other coefficients are 0 right so yeah we can we can rewrite c to the n like this and at this point we can ask ourselves uh, this question well how about uh, applying Horner's rule, right? So here's an example, right, of c to the third, right? And then uh, the question is, all right, can we can we apply Horner's rule, right? And and the answer is that yes, we can. We can um, get the coefficients. So this is uh, a n, right? The first coefficient, which is equal to one, right? Let me write it clearly. Uh, a n, and then uh, the last coefficient is uh, a zero, right? All of the coefficients except uh, a n are equal to zero. Okay, and we can uh, apply our standard Horner's rule algorithm that we uh, discussed in the previous uh, two screencasts. So we can get the first coefficient, right? set the polynomial value to the first coefficient or the zeros coefficient in our case and then we go through the remainder of the array of the coefficients and uh, we set the polynomial value to c times uh, pv plus uh, cofs of zero and then we return the value of the polynomial so what's the asymptotics of this algorithm well it's clearly uh, theta of n Right, which is uh, linear in the length of the array of the coefficients, which is okay. That's okay, but we have a lot of useless additions of zero uh, because uh, all of the coefficients except the first one, the very first one, a n, are zeros. Okay, so let's uh, delineate this piece. We're done with this, and the question is, um, can we do better? than uh, theta of n, than linear time. And the answer, fortunately, is yes, uh, due to um, an insight. So es essentially, the technique used in uh, this algorithm is uh, the so-called change of notation, right? So we um, have used one notation, and then we're going to change the notation and use a different notation. And it turns out, as it frequently does in algorithms, that a change of notation buys you a more efficient algorithm. So let's say every every uh, every number, um, uh, an in integer, uh, has a binary uh, the binary expansion, right? So this is essentially a sequence of bits, right? Um, so for example, if n is equal to, then uh, uh, in binary it's one zero. If n is equal three, then in binary it's uh, one one, and so forth, right? Any any uh, any integer has the uh, the binary expansion, the unique binary expansion. Um, Okay, so let's get rid of this, and um, um, we can write the binary uh, 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 the binary expansion uh, as a polynomial p k uh, of x uh, equals uh, b k uh, times x to the k, where x is two and, and so forth, where x is two, right? So we are uh, evaluating this binary expansion at x equal to uh, 2. So for example, let's, let's, uh, um, uh, the binary, the binary, uh, uh, the, the, this polynomial for uh, 3 is equal to this, right? 1 times 2 to the first uh, plus 1 times 2 to the 0th, right? So this is, this is 3, okay? So um, in order to evaluate c to the n, we need to evaluate c to the uh, uh, power of that uh, binary expansion polynomial. Right. Um, so, and where k is the length of that binary expansion, right? So, for example, if we want to evaluate c to the uh, uh, second power, 
uh, we want to evaluate c uh, to the um, that polynomial, the value of that polynomial, one times two to the first plus zero times two to the zero, um, right? Okay. So that's the uh, that's that's the insight. Uh, so let's work uh, with this insight. Let's um, um, restate um, our insight, right? So c to the n is equal to uh, c uh, to the pk of two, and uh, pk of two um, is equal to uh, uh, to that, right? can be written as this. So can we uh, use Horner um, to evaluate uh, pk of 2? And we sure can, so we have the uh, array of coefficients, so, and it's, uh, uh, so let's uh, say, let's assume that the length of that array is, uh, is n. Mm, okay, well it's, it's, actually, it's actually k, right, because we have uh, uh, k coefficients, but let's, uh, uh, let's assume that uh, it, it, it's n. Okay, so we um, uh, doesn't doesn't really matter. It's just a number. Uh, P v is equal to one, and then for uh, i from one to n, P v is equal to two times P v because we're evaluating polynomial at two plus um, the ith coefficient, and then we return the P v. So this is theta uh, theta n, right? Where n is the length of um, uh, of uh, the coefficients, right? So the number of the length of that array of coefficients. Okay. Now, um, well, let's um, let's think about it differently and uh, uh, get back to the binary expansion of n, right? Um, so we have k bits, uh, b k um, all the way down through b zero. This is binary expansion of uh, of n, right? So and uh, n, uh, for example, if n is three, then the binary expansion is one one. So this is uh, b1, uh, the first bit, and this is the zeroth bit. Okay, um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the Horner, um, uh, Horner's rule on the left, the algorithm, and essentially erase um, everything, uh, uh, erase c to uh, uh, the, the number c to uh, the corresponding power. So like this line, pv is equal to 1, uh, transforms uh, into uh, c to the pv equals c to the first. And then uh, for um, uh, i from uh, uh, 1 to, uh, to k, uh, c to the uh, pv uh, is equal to uh, c uh, to the power of 2 times pv plus uh, b uh, sub i, where b sub i is the i-th bit. And then uh, we uh, return um, c to the pv, right? So we use actually c to the pv as a variable in, uh, in, this, uh, in this pseudocode. All right, now let's uh, uh, talk about the asymptotics of this code. So what's the asymptotics? The asymptotics is um, a theta of log of n, right? Uh, how come? Well, we use a very famous uh, factoid from discrete mathematics. The length of the binary expansion of n is um, a log of n. Well, it's actually, technically, it's, it's actually uh, the, uh, the floor of log 2 uh, to the base 2 of n. Okay, so let's get rid of this uh, and uh, now work with um, this uh, this pseudocode some more. Uh, we're interested in uh, in this um, um, update uh, rule, uh, update line um, that, that that is used inside of the for loop. Um, so c um, uh, to the pv is equal to uh, uh, c to the uh, uh, this power uh, two times pv plus bi. So let's let's talk about c um, uh, to the power of uh, uh, two times pv plus bi. This is nothing but uh, c uh, to the pv uh, squared uh, times c to the bi, and this in turn uh, turns out to be c um, uh, uh, to the pv squared times c if uh, bi. Uh, the ith bit is equal to 1, uh, otherwise we don't have to multiply um, uh, by c, right? It's just c uh, uh, to the pv squared if the ith bit is equal to uh, 0. Okay, uh, we're ready. Uh, let me get uh, rid of uh, this, uh, clear this part out. And um, uh, we, uh, uh, we're ready for the pseudocode, so let's write the pseudocode. And then we um, will see how we can uh, implement um, these ideas in Python. The implementation, as in the case of Horner's rule, turns out to be really simple. Uh, so um, 
Uh, so as is frequently the case with uh, algorithms, the analysis uh, turns out to be uh, a little bit more involved than the actual uh, pseudocode and the source code in some programming language. So uh, c to the pv is equal to c, uh, and then for i from 1 up to k, uh, where k is the number of bits in the binary expansion of, a, uh, of, um, uh, of n, right, the power that we're raising c to, um, and so we uh, 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 square uh, c to the pv, and then if the ith bit is equal to 1, we multiply c to the pv um, by, uh, by c. And c to the pv, you can think of it as, as a variable. And um, uh, the asymptotics of this pseudocode is uh, theta of k, where k is the ceiling of the log square rent. So let's let's go to the uh, let's take a look at, um, at at the at the source code. One possible implementation. Okay, let me um, dive into my um, Python directory and uh, open up this file and. Uh, my Emacs. Okay, so this is uh, this is the function binary uh, bin expo, um, and uh, we have the value of c, and then we have the array of bits, which is the by bin cof is the binary expansion of uh, um, of n, the power that we're raising uh, c two. So now when c to the pv is sent to c, and then we're going to go through the uh, remainder of um, uh, of the array of uh, the binary um, uh, binary coefficients, and then square c to the pv, and if the ith bit is one, we uh, are going to multiply c to the pv uh, by c. Okay, so we will uh, print out uh, several uh, test values, um, right? So, uh, and then below we make sure that our test values are the same as. Um, the values returned by the built-in function uh, POW pow, power to power. So let's go and test it. Okay, looks good. 